my channel. I hope you're having a good time. Today's makeup is again about a recreation and I'm going to recreate my favorite movie star's look again and that is Vivica Padukone. And uh, she had done this hair and makeup at an event where she has teamed a peach outfit with gorgeous orangey red lips. And I mean for me, if I would ever wear peach lips, peach outfit, I would always keep it more 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 softer but it's amazing how lovely she looks and of course I'm going to show you how to achieve that beautiful dewy minimal skin so I'm going to start with prepping and priming my skin because this look is all about gorgeous luminous skin and uh, I'm going to use flawless luminance radiance day cream by, by Korean cosmetics and uh, I just got this cream recently and I'm absolutely in love with how hydrated the skin feels and uh, of course I am still going to apply a couple of drops of my Indulgio Rose Gold Oil however this helps my skin look even more radiant you can apply it with your fingertips or feel free to apply it with a brush onto your skin make sure you kind of really really buff it into the skin and next I'm taking uh, four drops of Indulgio Rose Gold Oil and I'm just going to buff this into my skin as well I'm next taking the MAC Prep Plus Prime uh, Fix Plus and I'm just going to spray it over my face and I'm just going to let this dry naturally so I think these three steps together will add gorgeous dewy skin. Of course, I'm going to add a little bit of a highlighter as well. Using the Makeup Revolution Shimmer Drops. Just going to pat it right here on my cheekbones. Just a little bit on my cupid's bow and right here. Just gonna touch a little bit to the bridge of my nose, but I'm not gonna apply anything too much. And just a tiny drop right here in the center of my forehead. So next step is a little bit of peach corrector. So yes, you see, I know I learn a lot of people who ask me that question that you use orange so many times and then you use peach also, what is the right thing? I mean, it's just that peach, peach brightens up medium to light problem areas and orange is better for more darker problem areas and for darker complexion. However, I'm bright in between, I'm not too fair, I'm not too dark and my problem is not too intense. So yes, I can do minimal correction on my skin with peach, but there are days when I haven't slept, I'm stressed out, and my pigmentation and my dark circle is a lot more. So then I end up applying a lot more orange. I've also had this little acne right here. However, my corrector is not going to help me in any way for that. Just taking my Makeup Forever foundation and I'm just adding one drop of Indulge Rose Gold Oil to it. And I know that Makeup Revolution is really doing a dewy and luminous. And can you imagine? It's going to look even more dewy and luminous. And that's exactly what I'm trying to achieve today. So I just take that and I kind of start buffing it into my skin. Circular movements work very, very well. I always love to blend my foundation once with my beauty blender also because I feel it kind of beautifully picks up excess product. And uh, please remember, this is damp right now. Do not use an excessively dry beauty blender ever. And I'm gonna set it with powder. However, if you, any one of you really likes to highlight their face to look a little brighter, you can always go, go ahead and do that. However, I love to look a shade darker. So I'm just going to take some powder and I'm just going to set my foundation into place. I always start with my under eye. And 
nothing crazy. Whatever little is left on my sponge, I just take it all over my skin. I am going to take a powder brush and I'm gonna just go over my skin one more time just to make it feel more minimal. And I'm using the Aeros Lashes brush in HP23. I'm using the Benefit Hula and I'm just gonna take it. I'm just using a matte blusher. Peachy, sorry, I'm using Flow Power by MAC. So, next step, uh, I'm just going to use a little bit of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder Luminous Light, and I just kind of literally take it all over my skin with a big fluffy brush. I love this powder, it just adds the right kind of radiance to the skin. And now, next step, I'm taking my Fenty Beauty highlighter. And I'm just going to take that just a little bit on my cheekbones. So if I have to really make a comment on her eye makeup, I'm gonna say it's the most simple eye makeup you can imagine. And what I've been preaching and I totally believe in for years. When in doubt, just do brown and you'll never go wrong. When in doubt, just do brown and you'll never go wrong. I've just applied a little bit of an eyeshadow primer all over my lids. I do recommend this because I feel it just makes the whole thing last longer. I'm using my Tartus Pro eyeshadow. I'm using and uh, I'm using a beautiful matte brown color right here. And I just kind of, in fact, I'm going to first start with a lighter color in my crease, something like this beautiful rust out here. And I just kind of apply that. Just a gorgeous wash of color, equal inside out. If you apply it with a fluffy brush, you'll never go wrong. So I'm just applying this color all over my lid. And now I take a darker brown color. So just a gorgeous matte brown eyeshadow. Choose a color which is a couple of shades darker than your skin tone so that it kind of adds depth to your eyes. And then I'm just going to go back with my fluffy brush in between these colors so they are a perfect blend. I'm also going to apply the same color that I applied in my crease all over my lash line. And then the lightest color in the palette just right here on my brow bone. And I'm going to finish the look with mascara. The eyebrows remain strong and defined. I'm just going to in fact add a little bit of width to my brows and she just has a hint of a brown kajal in her eyes. Finishing the look off with the orangey li uh, red lipstick and I'm using uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette for the same. So there you go my entire look. Gorgeous dewy skin, just soft, minimal, brown smoky eye and a beautiful orange red lip. I have a hair tutorial also that I shot separately, do look it up. And what do you think about my tutorial, do leave, let me know. I read every single comment and yes, I want to say a big thank you for all your love. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, now is the time.